Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a, a product review, a really cool product by a company that is right here in the United States uh, for bare bow, for really for any traditional archer. Uh, stick around till after the break and we'll jump right into it. Roll intro. Welcome back. So if you haven't heard of Yoast Archery, they're a United States based company so if you're in the UK or um, another country in Europe um, or Australia then or Canada you may not be able to get this product I, I'm not sure but you should go and check them out anyway yoastarchery.com uh, and uh, check out their stuff they are a pillar in the bare bow uh, shooting community and they do a ton of products they're probably best known for their weights uh, and their uh, tabs uh, their finger tab. So I have both. So today I want to talk a little bit about how I improve my bare bow shooting with one of their um, one of their products, and it's right here. So here's my uh, Gelo riser, and here is their Mojo brass weight. It's the 26 ounce weight, and you'll notice on here I have uh, one of the generic ones from Lancaster Archery, and I want to talk about the difference between this one and this one. Obviously, there's a size difference, but there's also a functionality difference too, which is really, really cool, I think. So let's talk about this one first. So this is just your generic weight, and I think this is a 16 ounce weight or 18 ounce weight. What you do is you screw this on, and there's a bushing in your bare bow riser, or sometimes in, a, so I have a Hoyt Satori, it has a bushing too, any sort of aluminum riser would have one of these uh, weight uh, bushings in them. So if you can see that. And then there's a hole on this side. So there's two different types of thread. On this one, it's the same thread on both sides. Um, on some of them, this one's a little bit, when, the one that points out this way, there's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit tinier, the thread. I don't know what the actual threads are. I probably should know. I'll probably put it here somewhere, <laughs> um, what these threads are, because it's always very standard. And so this is the thread that you get with it. You put it in here. And then there's usually, there's usually a washer on here, a vinyl washer. I, uh, I don't know what I did with mine. And then you screw this on. Ah, cut. <laughs> um, here we go. So you screw this, screw this on, tighten it down. And that's how you tighten it. And you'll see, you'll notice it goes right through the center. What's different about this guy, first of all, it's huge and it's made of brass and this is stainless steel. It looks really nice too. Uh, and so the, all the edges are rounded over and that sort of thing. So it's already a nice looking weight. Uh, but what's different about that is you have to see from the front. And you can see the bolt that goes through here. And that bolt is tightened down with an Allen key, Allen wrench, depending on where you are in the world. what you call it, and you just unscrew this. So I'm trying to do this on camera so that it stays up. But All right, so let's take a look at this. So first of all, um, every one of these is not stamped, but I think it's CNC machined. Um, and then they CNC machined the Yoast Archery, uh, the Yoast Archery symbol. Uh, logo on the front, but this is where it's cool. They put the hole near the top or the bottom, whichever you one you want. But um, why that's good is because this isn't only just for bare bow. So it's for bare bow archers, you know, basically. But it, what's really really good about this is you can offset that, so that you can have it in your bow, so that's hanging over to one side or the other. Why is that cool? Well, you could be torquing, one of the reasons is you could be torquing your bow one way or the other by the way you grip your bow or the way your hand is set up in the bow um, when you take your grip, right? So, and that has everything to do with the type of handle uh, grip you have on your bare bow. So you could be torquing it one way or the other as you're shooting. Uh, or your release could be torquing, and you just don't want to change that. 
you want something to, to help you with that, uh, you could put the, you can put this, I tightened it too much. So you can see, you can, let me put this straight. So you can tilt this over to one side of the bow or the other. And that can help with your torque of your shot if you're finding that you're having a problem. I don't, I leave it straight through this way and hanging down. But if this were a hunting rig and I had a my quiver on the bow on the side, I could offset that weight by just moving this over and tightening that down. So I think that that's a really huge advantage. The other thing is that you see my fingers where they grab, if this were to be turned up here, it hits my fingers. Even when it's a center one, through the center here, it touches my fingers. Now I open my hand up so it's not so bad, but some people do grab like that. So this being offset pulls the weight down a little bit further, which is really good anyway. And I just, from here, it adds a lot of nice weight and it keeps my bow up and down. And for bare bow, any traditional archer, you kind of want your bow like this. And when you release, it doesn't fling back on you. It should stay rock solid. So that's the weight. And again, you, again, the other advantage, I think anyway, is being able to tighten it down with an Allen key. And it stays where it, it, it should be. It doesn't look terrible on your... Uh, on your riser either. It's kind of a big chunk of brass, but it's cool. It's very cool. Now, a couple things you could do with this. You could obviously, um, if you didn't like the brass look, put a primer on it, sand it, prime it, paint it, um, make it any color you want. Because once it's there, it does take a lot of abuse, but you know, touching up with paint wouldn't be that hard. But overall, I think this is one of the best products on the market. And there's been lots of people that are trying to do their own version of this. They typically copy this version if you're gonna build your own. Barebow and uh, traditional archers love to build their own products. So uh, this is the one that they copy the most. Usually don't drill straight through, they usually use a bolt system. And then this is what it looks like. So that's it. I just wanted to kind of give you a, a really quick review today of this Yoast Archery Mojo Brass Weight 26 ounce. And it goes for about $50. And that includes shipping too. So that's pretty good. And that's in the US. I don't, I apologize. I don't know if it's available in other countries. Uh, but if it is, um, you should buy one. They're really good. If I, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, it has improved my score on Barebow by immediately improved it by about 10 points. <laughs> And now I'm not a very good barebow archer, but uh, that certainly, it gives a lot more steady in your hand and your release, when you release, it fixes some of this bad stuff I've been doing lately. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. Um, if you uh, like what you saw today and you wanna see more reviews, please comment below, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate every time someone subscribes. I see when people subscribe to the channel. Um, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, so anyway, thank you very much and until we talk again, shoot straight!